The X. 44 Manta is rewriting the rules of air combat. Unlike the roaring jets of the past, it's designed for silence, speed, and stealth, appearing and disappearing before radar can catch it. As global tensions rise, nations race to build next-gen aerial weapons. But the U.S. is pulling ahead with aircraft so advanced they seem straight from sci-fi. So, what makes the X-44 Mana so unique? And why are China and Russia watching closely? Let's break down the cutting-edge tech behind America's newest stealth fighter and how it could redefine future warfare. Fly without a tail might sound impossible, but aerospace giant Lockheed Martin once envisioned exactly that. Their concept, the X-44 Manta, short for multi-axis no-tail aircraft, was more than just another military jet design. It reimagined how aircraft could maneuver, promising agility that would make even eagles jealous. Think of driving a car without a steering wheel, controlling it only by how the engine pushes you forward. The Manta did something similar, adjusting thrust in multiple directions, up, down, left, right, or combinations, without relying on traditional tails. Derived from the formidable F-22 Raptor, this tailless marvel used a stretched delta wing shaped like a giant arrowhead. Its biggest innovation was what it lacked, tail fins. Without them, Move relied entirely on engine thrust control, like balancing on a skateboard by shifting weight, but at supersonic speeds. In May 1999, NASA and the U.S. Air Force quietly began developing this no-tail aircraft. The aim? Test new tech that could boost stealth, control, and performance. NASA planned to trial it on an F-22 or even an older F-15, with flight test targeted for 2007. They believe the X-44's innovations could benefit not only military jets like the F-22 and the future F-35, but also next-gen passenger planes. Back then, engineers were thinking decades ahead, imagining faster, quieter, more precise aircraft. Funded by the government and private companies, the program got the green light in June 1999 as the X-44A. Excitement was high. But just a year later, funding cuts grounded the project before it could fly. Still, its influence lived on. Concepts like the proposed FB-22 bomber drew inspiration from its no-tail design. Today's quiet, powerful stealth jets and possibly future drones carry traces of its DNA. The X-44's goal was bold. Prove a plane could fly flawlessly using only engine thruster control, eliminating traditional flight surfaces. This also made it stealthier. Without vertical fins or tail structures, it reflected far less radar, much like a smooth stone gliding over water. The result was a more streamlined, fuel-efficient aircraft capable of traveling farther, a glimpse into the future of aviation. The X-44 Mana shared the F-22 Raptor's powerful engines and core structure, but transformed them with a bold design, a large delta wing shaped like a forward-pointing triangle and no tail sections at all. This radical layout meant more internal fuel, allowing longer patrols or deeper strikes. By integrating control and propulsion systems, Lockheed Martin aimed for fewer moving parts, better fuel efficiency, and agility that could make other fighters seem slow. Imagine a boxer dodging punches with minimal movement. That was the Manta's promise in the sky. The Manta's reputation was strong enough for Lockheed Martin to create the X. 44A, an unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, from its Skunk Works division. This drone, flown remotely or autonomously, pushed aviation forward by removing pilots from risky, dull, or dirty missions. Militaries had used drones since the 1900s for reconnaissance, but by the 21st century, they became essential for gathering intel and carrying out missions without endangering lives. As costs dropped and tech improved, UAVs found civilian uses too, from cinematic aerial photography to agricultural monitoring. The X-44 program's roots trace back to the 1980s Advanced Tactical Fighter Competition, where Lockheed's YF-22 beat Northrop's YF-23 to become the F-22 Raptor, a stealthy, fast, and highly maneuverable fighter, giving U.S. pilots the edge in spotting enemies first. The x 44A also tested how drones might operate from Navy carriers, proving they could tackle one of aviation's toughest feats, landing on a moving ship. This work paved the way for today's carrier-capable UAVs. Remarkably, Lockheed kept the X-44 
44A hidden from the public for nearly two decades, making a missing link in drone evolution. Its innovations influence many modern and future aircraft. Built from nanocarbon fiber, light yet strong, the X 44A uses a Williams F 112 turbofan engine, like a mini commercial jet engine. Its 30 foot wingspan, about the length of a school bus, made it half the size of the RQ 170 Sentinel and harder to detect on radar. It could hit 176 miles per hour and stay aloft for 90 minutes, enough to test breakthrough tech and gather vital data without a pilot on board. Aviation fans can now see the One Secret X 44A in person. It's on display at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force in Dayton, Ohio, inside the Research and Development Gallery, where it went public in October 2020 after decades in secrecy. China and Russia are watching America's X 44 concept closely. Both are pushing their stealth fighter programs, but a revival of the X 44 could give the U.S. a major edge. China's top jets, the Chengdu J-20 and J-31, possibly the future J-25, and Russia's Su-57 still use conventional tails. If the U.S. brings the wingless X-44 back, it could surpass them in stealth, maneuverability, and situational awareness. Russia is also developing the Su-75 Checkmate, promoted as a low-cost fifth-gen export fighter to rival the Manta. It looked sleek at its debut, but years later... It still hasn't flown. Tight budgets, sanctions blocking key parts, and ambitious marketing have slowed progress. Without proven performance internal weapons bays or engine masking, it remains more PR stunt than threat. Another Russian jet, the Su-34 Fullback, is a fighter bomber designed for all-weather, medium-range missions. Originating from the Su-27 Flanker, it first flew in 1990, but joined the Russian Air Force in 2014. Its side-by-side -side armored cockpit, like a car seating, is built for long missions attacking ground and naval targets, even in hostile, jammed environments. The Su-34 uses three wing surfaces, main wings, front canards, and rear horizontal tails, giving extra lift and agility. It carries up to 12 weapon stations with 26,000 to 31,000 pounds of munitions, plus a 30 millimeters cannon, and six air-to-air -air missiles for defense. The largest single weapon it can carry weighs 8,800 pounds. This heavy aircraft is 76 feet 7 inches long with a 48 feet 3 inches wingspan, weighing 49,600 pounds empty and nearly 100,000 pounds at max takeoff. Twin Saturn engines deliver 30,000 pounds of thrust each with afterburners, allowing speeds up to 1,200 miles per hour at altitude, Mach 1.8, and 892 miles per hour at sea level. It typically cruises at 810 miles per hour, has a 680-mile combat range with full weapons, and can stretch to 2,800 miles without payload. It also flies up to 56,000 feet, far above typical commercial aircraft. The Su. 34 can endure forces up to nine times gravity, meaning pilots feel nine times their body weight, enough to knock out anyone without specialized training and gear. Its engines give a thrust-to-weight ratio of 0 0.68, offering strong climb performance and agility despite the jet's heavy build. Armed with a Gray Zev Shipanoff autocannon, holding 180 rounds, it can fire shells capable of piercing light armor. Twelve hardpoints on its wings and fuselage carry 26,000 to 31,000 pounds of weapons, including rocket pods like the B-8, 20S-8 rockets, and B-13, 5S-13 rockets, plus advanced air-to-air -air missiles such as the R-73 and R-77. This arsenal makes the Su-34 one of Russia's most versatile combat aircraft. However, it has drawbacks. Based on the older Su-27 design, it's harder to upgrade with new tech. It lacks modern stealth, making it easy to detect on radar, and its size and weight reduce speed and agility in close combat. Behind the scenes, global powers, Russia, the U.S., and China, are locked in a silent arms race. Each new fighter, missile, or space launch is part of this high-stakes contest. Publicly, they call it modernization, but in reality, it's a constant game of military one-upmanship. When the U.S. develops something like the X-44 Manta, China and Russia rushed to develop their own versions, shaping the future of warfare. 